What is up guys, Killer Kevin today back with a brand new episode of Fallout 4 Months. Hope you guys are having a super awesome day and today we're going to be showcasing something pretty weird to the world of Fallout 4 or the Commonwealth just in general. We're going to be looking at, I don't even know why we're doing this, a Shadow Mew 2. You can see them just in the right hand corner there, there are two of them, they randomly spawn in Sanctuary. But uh, if you want this mod, guys, as always, it's down in the description below. Make sure to go and grab the uh, mod yourself and try it out. Let me know what you think of it as well. Let's have a little comment discussion. So uh, bung them down once you've watched this video. But yeah, they are just lurking around in your sanctuary sort of uh, area. And as you can tell, there are two right here. There's literally one on the left and there's one over here. Pretty damn weird. So I'm going to go over to this one here. And none of them talk, they just tell you that they're on military sort of uh, positions here. That does look really weird though. So I've got something for you, not obviously the rocket launcher because I don't want to die. Let's go with the sniper here and let's just quick scope you. And there goes Mew's head. Oh uh, well. Right, so he had on him a baseball grenade, a baseball bat, not bad. Shadow Mew 2X head. So Oh shit, his whole head's gone. Oh, that's because I blew it off, that's fine. And his outfit in general. Okay, cool, right. So let's unequip all weapons just for starters and go over to appearance. Now let's put on our Mew stuff. Where's the other stuff? Oh, there we go. I've still got my hands. Why have I still got my hands? This looks really good. I've got a blister vest on as well, simultaneously. That looks pretty cool. Let's take that off. <laughs> and my sunglasses. Let's take everything else off apart from the Mew stuff in general. So, there we go. Doesn't look too bad. The texts are slightly popping. They're not as bad as the other ones. Obviously, those legs are huge, so they're not going to do that too much. The head is not too bad, the tail isn't too bad either, just generally the textures aren't that bad and they, uh, they're they not glitching that much. I'm not too sure why you'd have this in a world, but uh, you know you could bung on some settlers because it'd be kind of funny. Uh, it'd be nice to see if he could add sort of more sort of Pokemon mods to it as well. That is some creepy shit when he moves his neck like that, that is disturbing. But no, overall it does look pretty good. Um, I'm not too sure the reference is compared to a Shadow Mewtwo. I've seen an image, but I don't think this is this well detailed, so uh, hats off to that one. It just seems to be the clipping between the legs. It's literally like an action figure. If you had to just smooth that out and just made it conjoined to the lower body, that would have been okay. But just generally having a little look, that does look really freaking weird. Going around as Mew. Going around me too, sorry. What's jumping look like? See, jumping looks better than actual moving. That's a bit weird. I'm not, not going to lie. It's not too... Oh, no. Hold on for a second. Let's do this test. Jesus, look how big those thighs are. Bloody thunder thighs. <laughs> nah, that's not too bad. I mean, in comparison to other mods that this creator has done, it's probably one of his better ones, per se. As, as I say, though, but it is still clipping and glitching, so that's a little bit awkward. But again, no idea why you'd have this in your sort of mod category, but I suppose it's one of those things to try out, I guess. But yeah, if you did enjoy, hit me up with the like. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, guys. But until the next one.